What's up YouTube? Minecraft to go here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft beta 1.5 underscore zero one server. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So first open up your internet browser and then we're going to go to a website called bucket.org B-U-K-K-I-T dot O-R-G G. -G. <coughs> and then you're going to get the page that will look like this and you're going to go to the recommend build on the side here and you're going to download whatever build is there whatever build is there um, mine right now mine is 766 but it can change over time click that once and Chuck Norris will pop here because he pop up here because he is awesome like that and there's this little box here that says build artifacts and you're just going to uh, click craft bucket whatever whatever dash snapshot dot jar click it once download and it should uh, be 7.2 megabytes And there you have it. So clear this. Now we're gonna make a new folder on the desktop. I'm gonna call it bucket, craft bucket, whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it craft buckets or bucket server. I have one up here, and then in the end it should look like this. So I'm gonna clean this up, and we're gonna go into bucket server, and we're gonna drop this into here. And oh yeah. Hold down your left mouse over this and click enter, and we're going to change the name. We're just going to name it craft bucket dot jar, and then we're going to in the description I have all these files right here. So we're going to copy this one right here, the first one, uh, the start command. We're going to go and we're going to make a new. Uh, sorry, one second. How new world. ah cloud. new we're just gonna do new I'm gonna go format make plain text and we're gonna paste this in and now right here the XMX 1024M XMS 1024M um those that is your uh RAM and 512 uh is half a gigabyte. So if you want to do two uh, gigabytes, you'll do 2,048, and you only can do up to five. Uh, so I'll let you figure that out. Figure that out, and I might <coughs> put it in the description. I don't know, but you should just probably leave it there with the in. So yeah. So now we're gonna save save this as start dot command. Um, the start can be anything you want, but the ending has to be dot command. Save it and use dot command. Close out this and I'll move this off to the side right here. And now just drag this into your bucket server. And now we're going to go to the second one chmod plus <coughs> space, sorry, a plus x. Copy this. Now we're going to go into terminal. To find terminal, you go to spotlight and type in terminal. Simple enough and we're going to click the applications one or top hit yeah. and it's also down here just showing you how you can find it and we're going to paste that in and now we're going to drag start dot command in click enter there and now it will give you access to use this because without it it will say like you do not have permission to use this or uh, something like that close out terminal let me just force quit that then we're going to run craft bucket dot jar and uh, all these things will come in. Now, you want to go to server.properties first, and this is kind of like uh, your basic thing that will allow you in the world for, for you to do. So, all right. So I'll start from top to bottom. World name, self-explanatory. Uh, Hell world, I think, is like the Nether. I'm not really sure. Spawn monsters. False. I don't like monsters. And if it's like true. If you want it to make true when it's false, you just delete the false, type true, and vice versa. Vice versa. Online mode. Say if you, if you or your friend has a cracked version of Minecraft, then you want to make this false. But that can like lead a lot of hackers to come in. And spawn animals. Hate those little animals. They get really annoying. Max players. Just kidding. I just want to make it 100. Now server IP. 
If we go into terminal, we type in if config. We're going to do a bunch of things. So you're going to look for your inet. It's under en0 colons flags all that. It's um right above this big thing and we're looking for inet. And you're going to copy this right here. It's this will differ this will differ depending on where you live. See and it also says a um so you want to take this one and paste into your server IP. Player versus player or PvP. I don't like that. Level seed, well, yeah. And the server port, leave the same. Unless you have more than one server, then you want to change it. Then for allow flight, click true. If you have like the flight mod, or else it will kick you. And now, whitelist. Say if you only want a, f a few people to join without like everyone uh, in the world joining you, you want to make this true. So save this and quit. Now we're gonna go through all these. Banned IPS. Um, like these are your their banned IPs. Uh, banned players. That's their name, so they can't log in from someone else's house. Bucket dot YML. Now, you wanna rename this to whatever your world name is right here. So mine's world. So I'll name that world. But if yours is a name like ABC. You will name yours to abc.yml. OBS is like your admins, basically. They can spawn things. They can set the time. So you just I'm gonna put mine in here because I want myself to be an admin. Save, quit, and then server log. Um, all that leave alone. We already went to ser uh, server dot properties, and here's your whitelist where you would enter if it was true. And now we're gonna double click start dot command. And now it's going to be really, really slow when it starts. Oh, it's going a little faster for me than it usually does. That's good. Um, so yeah, there's all that. And you notice that the bucket YML has returned. That's fine. Um, and a couple more of these. Those are just keeping the server open. So you can just leave those alone. And so we'll let this load for a little bit. Uh, and um, next week or some other time, I'll be covering how to make skins, your own personal Minecraft skins. It's pretty cool. But so once this is loaded completely, y only you will will be able to join. Um, uh, my next video will be on how to port forward, which basically will let your friends uh be able to uh join in. And done. Now, if you want to find all the commands for your admins, you type in help. And it gives you all these kick, ban, pardon, ban IP, pardon IP, OP, DOP, teleport, TP, give, tell, stop, save all, save off, save on, list, say, and time. And now, but when you go into Minecraft server, which I'll open right now, log in, and Mohang sign, multiplayer, you'll enter the same IP. That you did for your server dot properties in here, and it'll give that to your friends if they want to join. Click connect, connect the server, logging in, and here we go. It'll start building and downloading the terrain. Um, so there you have it. You're on server now. If you want to spawn your stuff, see I have uh, too many items, and here's my guy right here. I made him for myself. So if you didn't have too many items. You would type in, um, if you go on Google and you go to uh, Minecraft item ID numbers and you find a picture of a, uh, find a picture of all the items, and it'll give you like ID's number above or below that. Uh, those are what you would enter for this part. So if I say, if I want to give myself some brick, I'll type in, sorry, give your name right here would go here, the item number bricks is 45 and then the quantity quantity cannot go above 64 and you can also give these to your friends and so we're going to list some people and 
can see that's me in this, and then we're going to type in t slash time set zero. And you can't really tell, but the sign just reset, so. So yeah. And there you have it. So here's me flying, and I if I had this uh, flying uh, false, I would be kicked probably in a couple seconds. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, um, late, <laughs> rate, like, comment, whatever. I don't care. Um, if this helped you, subscribe. I don't know where I'm going with this. So thanks for watching.